Citizens Amendment Act has caused a lot of concern among many people in India. Joining us, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Bengaluru, the Reverend Dr. Peter Machado. Your thoughts on CAA, do you feel? Are you reassured by the governments saying that it is not against any minorities, that it is not against any Indian? I can understand the government position and I trust the government that it's not against any any of our communities, etc. But the act itself, what we are requesting the government is to reconsider it. First of all, I just give a press conference. I stress three points. Yes. Number one is uh, there's no room for violence. There's no room for this confusion among us. We are dem in a democracy. We can give our opinions. We can give it peacefully. And peace is the word that I stressed again and again. But secondly, I say, as far as possible, we could be in the framework of our constitution, which is the most beautiful document. Most beautiful document. I think we should be proud of it. So as far as possible, we, should be, we preserve the sanctity of this constitution. Okay. Number three is my only issue is, which we Christians have been repeating, is let not religion be made a criterion for citizenship. Okay. That's the only thing. Are you concerned that the CAA is making religion a criterion for citizenship and that it is violating the sanctity of the constitution? Yes, that's exactly the this one. So we say that the government has got good intentions and we will support the government in every good intentions of theirs. But this, as you see, it's not only the people of the streets or people of the, of the farmers that they are this one. The intelligentsia of India is also expressing its opinion. To see that, and they are not just uh, uneducated people. They have also studied the constitution. They have also studied the implication of this, which starts in a small way. But perhaps we may not be able to st stop the train when oh, it starts going. So let us, along, join the government in many good things. And we request the government that it's not a prestige issue to consider certain cons certain uh, opinions of the people and also recorrect the structure, recorrect the, our. Uh, our uh, way and the way forward. That's you, the concerns that you have, would you like the government to withdraw the act totally or make amendments? What would you like to see in an ideal world? I am not technically very good as what could be done. But the way forward we suggest, if it's possible to correct it okay. or perhaps even to withdraw it, to give a... The government will be very popular to say that the, the majority opinion or the opinions of those that have expressed disagreement with them has been taken into consideration. After all, our country is a country where is variety in unity. We can have a lot of diversities, we have diverse opinions, but we are all of one mind, one heart. And India is a great country. Yeah. And as you said, peace should be the priority. Should be the priority. And, and it's there, not a prestige. There's no comprom compromise on that. And it's even not of those on who either want, side. On yeah, either side yeah. Even of those who want to save something which is not in consonance with the government of this one, you can do it peacefully. And violence is not never the solution. And okay? it isn't a prestige issue at yeah, all. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much there. Well, the yes. Metropolitan Archbishop of Bengaluru there saying that it should not be a prestige issue for the government, but that amendments really should be made and that peace really is vital from both sides. But he says religion should not be a criterion for giving citizenship. With DM Kumar, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.